Taiwan's defense ministry has said it had spotted 35 Chinese military aircraft, including fighters and bombers, flying to the island south on the way to exercises in the Pacific, a second day in a row it has reported such activities. China, which views democratically governed Taiwan as its own territory despite the strong objections of the government in Taipei, regularly sends its military in the skies and borders near the island seeking to enforce its sovereignty claims. By the way, the United States is bound by law to provide Taiwan with the means to defend itself and its arms sales to Taipei, including a $2 billion missile system announced last month, infuriating Beijing. Well, to understand the latest moves, we have with us geopolitical analyst Don McLean Gill. Thanks so much, Don. Always a pleasure to have a chat with you. Taiwan's defense ministry says it's detected about 37 Chinese military aircraft. This includes J-16 fighters, nuclear-capable H-6 bombers. Has China reacted yet? And what signals do you believe this latest move sends? Well, thank you so much for having me for my show. It's a great pleasure as always. So this is China's political warfare or cognitive warfare against Taiwan. So basically, Beijing is employing all means at its command, short of war, uh, to achieve certain national objectives. And some of these sub-objectives uh, include intimidating Taiwan's population and its political leadership. So we have seen a heightened level of incorporation of this political or cognitive warfare um, based on recent trends. You know, a few weeks ago, uh, China conducted Joint Sword uh, 2024B, right? So while the maintenance of notional block scenarios was there, uh, we could also see that the PRC military has been creeping closer and closer uh, to mainland Taiwan, uh, the, the main island of Taiwan and its smaller outlying islands, right? So while this year's activities were modest in scale and duration, it represented Beijing's ongoing anger and frustration towards Taiwan's um, current president. So if we also look into October 31st, uh, this was the first uh, time that China had a dual aircraft carrier drill in the South China Sea to show, you know, to flex its muscle uh, regarding its consistent ongoing preparations in terms of Taiwan's blockade exercises, right? So what we can see is that this is part and partial of China's uh, willingness uh, and China's uh, intent to provoke Taiwan as much as it can short of war. Right, Don, we're also hearing of opposing political parties wrangling over constitutional issues in Taiwan at a time when the threat of encirclement or invasion, as some argue, rises from neighboring China. What's happening politically at the moment? Is another political storm coming to Taiwan amid an escalating threat from China? Well, you know, there has always been a percentage of uh, the population uh, that uh, continues to align with Beijing's narrative. And that is, in fact, one of the strongholds of Beijing, you know, to try to exploit uh, this particular advantage. But what we can see is that given the clear threat uh, that China has been posing on Taiwan, um, uh, you know, this percentage, I believe, is decreasing as well. Uh, given, of course, a clear existential crisis that China is continuously bringing against Taiwan and its people. And this is, of course, something uh, that is a clear provocation of the established order, um, which uh, Taiwan has greatly benefited from. So in this regard, we can see that China is trying to exploit all means possible, you know, as I mentioned earlier, to provoke as far as it could go, um, in terms of eroding, you know, the effective sovereignty that Taiwan's government uh, continues to exercise. So this is, of course, part of its expansionist designs um, in the Western Pacific. As always, Dom, thanks so much for joining us on NDTV with your comments.